Hi everyone, welcome to another episode of Finance for 20s. In this video, I'll be talking about six things you do with your savings in your 20s. Before I go into this video, if you're new to my YouTube channel, welcome. My name is Femi Alanya, I'm a crypto trader and I make videos on crypto and personal finance. So if you love content like this, ensure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and please like this video. Thank you. Now to the six things you do with your savings in your 20s. Number one is to start an emergency fund. Now, embarking on this step is undeniably one of the most significant actions you can take to ensure your financial well-being. The importance of an emergency fund cannot be overstated as it serves as a safety net in case of unexpected expenses or income loss. The recommended amount to aim for is an equivalent of three to six months worth of your regular expenses. Now, this means that you aim to have an emergency fund that you can spend for three to six months in case you lose your source of income. And this should be kept in a high yield savings account where it can accumulate interest over time. And you can use apps like CarryWise and PiggyVest for this. Number two is to start planning for long term goals. Now, one effective way to use your savings is to allocate them towards achieving your long term financial goals. Now, these goals could range from purchasing your dream home to starting your own business and many more. Now, the beauty of these long-term objectives is that they can often represent significant milestones in life and can be deeply fulfilling when you accomplish them. Now, starting to plan for these ambitious goals early, specifically in your 20s, can make them significantly more attainable. By doing this, you are giving yourself ample time to accumulate the necessary funds. Now, this allows for a more realistic and less stressful journey towards fulfilling these life-changing objectives. Furthermore, having a clear plan in place can give you a sense of direction and make it easier to stay motivated as you work towards your financial goals. And remember, this is about being strategic with your savings and making informed decisions that will align with your long-term objectives, not just setting money aside. So don't delay, start planning for your financial future and make the most of your savings. The third thing to do is to invest in the stock market. Now, one of the most effective methods of utilizing your savings and enhancing your financial status is investing in the stock market. Now, despite the fact that some individuals may find this intimidating, the stock market can serve as an extraordinary instrument for expanding your savings over a period of time. It is a strategy that has consistently demonstrated its effectiveness, yielding substantial returns for those who have a profound understanding of the stock market. However, it is always advisable to conduct in-depth research on the stocks you are contemplating investing in. Understanding their past performance, the current status, and the future projections is crucial. It is also highly recommended to seek advice from a certified financial advisor, if you have any, before making any investment decisions. These professionals are equipped with the necessary knowledge and experience to help you navigate the often complex world of the stock market investing. The next thing to do is to pay off your debt. Now, one of the most important steps you can take towards financial freedom is prioritizing paying off high interest debt. Now, if you find yourself burdened with debt, it's crucial to focus on eliminating them as soon as possible. Accumulating debt is something that can hinder you from growing financially, and that is why it's always advisable to stay out of debt. But when debts are inevitable, it's also advisable to always pay them back on time. So when you have quite an amount of money in your savings, try to pay off your debt if you have any. The next thing to do with your savings is to invest in your skills. Now, this is a critical step you should take with your savings in your 20s. This might mean taking additional courses or obtaining advanced degrees to enhance your professional skills, which can help you to invest in yourself. It could also be attending workshops, seminars that provide you with new knowledge or improve your existing abilities. In your 20s, you are at an optimal point in your life to absorb new information and adapt to new skills. And it's also the time where you are likely to be more flexible and less burdened with responsibilities, which make it an ideal time to learn and grow. The skills you can develop would lead to a better job opportunities and even higher income in the future, which is a return on investment that will continue to pay off throughout your life. It is a powerful way to use your savings to create a better future for yourself. Number six is to invest in networking with people. Now, building a strong professional network is an excellent way to invest your savings in your 20s. Attending industry conferences, joining relevant professional organizations, or even subscribing to industry-specific publications can broaden your professional connections and your knowledge. The relationships you build can also lead to job opportunities, partnerships, or even valuable advice down the line. Remember that the people you meet today may be the ones to help you take your next career step tomorrow. So consider networking as an investment in your future. 
So in conclusion, your 20s is a time for shaping your financial future. Each step you take from starting an emergency fund to investing in your skills and networking is a crucial part of laying a solid financial foundation. It's about making the most of this time in your life to set yourself up for long-term financial success. The earlier you get started, the more time you have to grow your savings and achieve your financial goals. So take these six steps to add and start applying them today and watch as your financial future becomes brighter and more secure with each passing year. Thank you for watching and if you want to learn how I created 8 sources of income in my 20s, click the video showing on your screen right now. Thank you for watching, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.